inspect myself closely because somebody might think I had a problem. But uh, they say that one of the horses uh, on the statue, if you examine its groin rather carefully, um, in one of the veins is a little figure of the Tsar who commissioned the statues because the sculptor didn't like the czar and it was his kind of protest but it's not the thing you go and look oh look to the right look to the right look to the right what's going on on the balcony yeah. <laughs> hey, what? that's the club <laughs> I've never seen Emil drive backwards down Nevsky Prospect before now that's a new one to me this is what is new well oh. And if you look on the left-hand side, look at the theatre. Beyond it is the Alexandrinsky Theatre, which is also it's a very lovely theatre. Unfortunately, it's closed for restoration at the moment. I, I was actually those girls remind me there used to be just uh, along that same spot on Nevsky there was a club uh, and um, the Place de la Concorde on the other like not lighting them up but maybe I'm just thinking perhaps there's a power cut there or they forgot to pay the bill or something but this is really it's it's the focal point with no lights on it. <laughs> I think at night it's more oh, beautiful yeah. even. <laughs> so you can see again the Winter Palace, the Alexander Column in the middle, and the General Staff Headquarters where that arch is behind us. My goodness, what now, I saw they were, I wondered what they were constructing in the middle of the river, um, some kind of pontoon mission tower. Uh -huh. Look at it now at night, it's real Disneyland. <laughs> and then look back uh, to the Winter Palace and the Hermitage. That is a really magical view. Yeah. But again, very Russian, we have water jets, but Peter and Paul's fortress is not lit up. Do you feel that by the end of this tour, um, you will have a very healthy neck because you're looking <laughs> left, left, look right, look left, look right all the time? <laughs> um, some statistics will be interesting for you. Uh, at the turn of the century, uh, this city had more than 1,000 churches, all kinds of churches. Of course, the main church was Russian Orthodox, but it also had synagogues, a mosque, Catholic churches, Baptist, Protestant, Armenian Orthodox, all kinds of professions were represented here. Now, in the 1920s, it's uh, most, uh, it's uh, this glittering Russian Baroque style of the 1750s. And part of the uh, palace is the Amber Room. That's a uh, church. Well, interestingly, it was built at the same time as St. Isaac's. But the fans were the cheese. Uh, it reminds me of oh, the Brandenburg Gate in Berlin. <laughs> so the gate in Berlin and this yeah. gate were built in the same, share the same ideas. Artists of the same period share the ideas. So both this gate and the one in Berlin represent classical style of the period. So this is called Moscow Gate. And we're driving towards Moscow. Oh. We're driving towards Moscow. Uh, this is Moscow Prospect. And uh, this is an amazingly long avenue. Uh, it starts not very far from the Astoria Hotel and ends near the airport. Uh, it's as long as 11 and a half kilometers. And uh, uh, the road is a very good standard, as you can see. Also, uh, they've done a lot of uh, landscaping. Uh, they've uh, planted flowers here and there. She only said the road, you can see beautiful petunias and uh, begonias, all sort of flowers. 
Very gold. Yeah. And this was done for the G8 summit. And this is the this is the main entrance from the airport. And uh, middle of July, uh, the city hosted uh, the heads of uh, eight countries, among the President Bush. And uh, uh, for two months prior to the summit, um, they had been restoring Moscow prospect, which of course uh, created huge traffic problems in the city. Then, you know, before the 18th of July, which was uh, the, uh, the time of the summit, uh, it took us, you know, one uh, Trafalgar group driving to Pushkin, it took them four hours. Four hours because of the blocked, you know, sections of Moscow prospect, we had to do a detour. Four hours, it was our but nowadays, uh, well, but now it's in perfect shape. The road is in a very good shape. shape. Moscow Prospect. Because you can view uh, well, a very nice, very attractive modern building. The circular one. This is uh, the new uh, premises of the National Public Library. This uh, apartment on the right, left hand side with a spire, that's a typical design of the Stalin era housing construction. Now, since the 1950s, uh, the city has extended. That's a very impressive, uh, a very impressive building of the Stalin era, uh, known as the where statue to Lenin at the building of the new town hall. It meant to be the new town hall in the middle of the 1930s. You know, then Finland had allied uh, with Germany, and the border with Finland was just 15 kilometers away from Nevsky Prospect. And then Stalin started negotiating with Mannheim, the Finnish president, possibility of changing the border, moving it further away from Leningrad. Mannheim wouldn't agree. And then the local authorities thought of building up a new center in the city to be further away from the border with Finland, which had become an enemy, almost an enemy. Uh, but then uh, Germany intruded, uh, the um, Russia, well, the World War II started, so it interrupted construction of this building. When accomplished in 1944, there was no need to move the center because by that time the border uh, with Finland had been changed. So it's been used by different uh, uh, scientific research institutes. But the outside of the building presents a very impressive example of uh, the Stalin period of architecture. Now, uh, the end of Moscow Prospect has a Victory Square. In a couple of moments, we'll, dr we'll be driving around Victory Square. It is Moskovsky department store. Okay, yeah. You know, this ending oh. SKY is a grammatical thing. Uh, the Russian uh, nouns. And uh, the obelisk represent a worker and a soldier. This represents soldiers at the front and workers building up victory in the rear. You know? uh, the city had a link with the mainland across Lake Ladoga. Is, that's where the uh, Neva River starts. And, uh, and uh, they built uh, communications, they had uh, air defense, guns, you know, they have service units. Uh, on to the reason um, the approach of the uh, city authorities has been uh, not to build any all the uh, modern constructions in the center, or to preserve the flavor of the center. But we do have uh, big uh, supermarkets in the new residential areas. Yeah, yeah, the plane landing. Now, the name of the main international airport, which is on the left-hand side, is Pulkova. P-U-L-K-O-V-O, Pulkova Airport. And that's named after a hill you can see looking ahead of the bus. Okay. 
So the name of the hill is Pulkova Hill. P-U-L-K-O-V-O, Pulkova Hill. It has the highest elevation, a very advanced center of star exploration. So it's a 19th century observatory. Well, in the 19th century, it had many joint projects with English and American astronomers. Uh, even though the picture to Pushkin, he is very easy to identify. You know, by a quarter of his blood, he was an Ethiopian. So when driving past uh, the statue to Pushkin, notice his curly hair and thickish lips. Uh, <laughs> also, uh, also notice his sideburns. You know, in his wearing habits, he was most extravagant. And uh, uh, in the 1800s, gentlemen loved the war sideburns. Pushkin's sideburns were the widest and the thickest in St. Petersburg. Also, he loved looking after his nails. He had very long, he kept his nails very long, especially a nail on his little finger. It was so lo long that he had to make a cover for it, so it doesn't break. Pushkin on the right. Pushkin on the right. He was noble origin both on the side of his Ethiopian and Russian ancestors. His so it's got all kinds of constructions, the palaces, the original estates of the Russian nobles. It's got uh, lots of blocks of flats built under communism, and it's got some lovely and expensive townhouses built in the last five, eight years. Now we approach the Egyptian gate. The Egyptian gate. So this was used by nine generations of the Romanovs, and it was, uh, oh, was something new. The, the, the Egyptian gate was built in the 1810s by the orders of Tsar Alexander I. It is Pushkin. So Pushkin, Pushkin, Pushkin's genius unfolded very young. Yes. So the right now we're passing by Alexander Palace. And look at some wealthy properties on the left-hand side, recently built townhouses. So, all right, uh, so um, bring your cameras with you. Uh, you can leave your uh, carry-on on the bus.
Reproduction of a stone. A stone. Is it the alf? No, no, it's wood. 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 Originally it was a stone. No, no. Originally it was a hidden appliance. A stone. Oh. The guests were waiting for a reception. Uh -huh. So the space, the rooms adjoining to the ballroom were three empty chamber rooms. Now at the age of everything you see here is only two years old. So during the World War II. This was occupied by the Nazis. They lived here. They used the place. of the series uh, represent different colors and different badges. These are the colors and the badges <laughs> of the three highest awards. And, uh, Summer Palace, uh, Catherine the Reed. Thank you. The vases and dishes that you saw in the main stage were originally part of the art collection of the heritage. And the Empress used it for stage. Sorry, Bridget, that table decor there, there's no cutlery, there's something that doesn't look like there's two little things. What's yeah. that next to the uh, that's, uh, that's the handles. Now, uh, this could have been used for the cycles. Or to play a game of cards. Uh, what he does doing by time. Mm -hmm. A grandson of Catherine the Second. Now, this is a portrait of Catherine the Second or Catherine the Great. Catherine the Great. Uh, now oh. she ruled from 1762 to 1796. She's the one who built the Hermitage, oh. and she's the one who had her husband killed, <laughs> and she's the one who was a German origin princess, and she's the one. Abundance of proportions, soft colors, and abundance of plastic. But all the Thank you. After the war. 
Summer cottages and a Russian word for such uh, type constructions is looking and palatial size, palatial looking newly built summer cottages. That's Merchant Marine School. And on the left side of the road, uh, there was because the standard of the plots inside is different. Plus, uh, not having a tall fence uh, would be less from the safety. But anyway, as you can see, the fences are identical, identical height, identical color. So that's what uh, the government, the city authorities funded <laughs> for the individuals from the G8 uh, yeah. summit. Tiski Star, Baltic Star Hotel. The little cottages, yellow and white. These are the Baltic Star hotels. Actually there are five plus star hotels. Five star. That's where the G that's where the uh, this is where the leaders of the G eight oh, wow. uh, will <laughs> host the candidate. Oh yeah, it's a bit here. Five star five plus five, five plus star, star. Star. Five star. <laughs> star hotel. Six star you know it is Six so then aside it has all the Gulf of Finland. Now the only difference between what uh, it looks now and what it looked originally is a statue of Tsar Peter at the front. So look to the right, middle of the fence has oh, the a gate. Uh, this is the main entrance of the upper park of Peter. Look to right. Oh, look to right. Can I help you? It's poor and urban. Sure. 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 The park on the right hand side is called the Upper Park. That's what we viewed from the bus. And the park on the left side is the Lower Park. That's the one which has all the fountains. The plan of our tour. Go I want to work as an engineer. Mm -hmm. And there is, okay, they say, okay, so this is. Uh, oh, but the agency, you know that for good personnel, you are ready to pay, and mm -hmm. then within that stock market, you know, you have to pay. So you said uh, you don't have a statistic for the unemployment? I'm sorry? You don't have any. Uh, well, sta statistics, well, we have official statistics. Oh, official? Well, official. But, uh, not, but not accurate. But uh, it's not that accurate. Uh, what, what, the of, what the official? About, I mean, how, how many percent? Well, official is about 10%. Oh, 10%. Okay. Official. Okay. But maybe um, higher. Real, yeah. Realistically higher. Much yes, higher. Much higher. Yeah. Oh, okay. Yeah. But were you, were you saying that 
a person who is unemployed, they have to go to a state agency, they yeah. can go to a yeah. private industry? And well, he can, but it's up to you where you want to go. Look, look. Because the private always gets Well, it doesn't, well, it's a matter of luck. Yes, yeah, cool in here. There's a fountain here. Yeah, there's so many. Yeah, so many. Let's go, let's go. Where, where, where is he? Very nice, huh? Very nice. Yeah. Let me know when you're not filming. You right? <laughs> <laughs> yeah. No, <laughs> no, okay. Yeah, go ahead. Uh, I bring your picture to America. Oh, no, no, no. To everything. <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, I think yeah, yeah, you can get in there, how can we all get in there, yeah. Gotta hop over the fence, right? Yeah. You cannot get in there. Yeah, I don't think, yeah, not allowed. Yeah, what's up? That's up. I don't fly over. Oh, okay. <laughs> uh, this is the Grand Cascade of Peterhof. Now, Peterhof is the original name. It's Dutch origin and hope of Peter Hope means. No, 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 it represents Biblical Samson fighting the lion. It represents Russia. It's Peter Peter fighting Sweden. The most amazing thing about the early construction of Peterhof is that Russia was in the war, which, uh, which uh, was lots of uh, money. Mm -hmm. And uh, the Tsar was building his summer residence. Now, he wanted this place surpass the Versailles of the French kings. And indeed, they, uh, they managed. Now, uh, during our walk around the park grounds, we're going to walk a loop around this. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
Đẹp quá anh, hay hơn chỗ Scott Cô Bình hay không? Hay hơn, không? Scott Cô Bình đâu hay? Scott Cô Bình nó nhỏ Chỉ có cái building là lớn thôi à Mà ngoài cũng không đẹp bằng đây nữa Đây có nhiều cái nhiều cái coi quá Anh thấy nhiều cái coi nhất rồi đều quơ rồi Nó cũng rau hấp lắm Quá đẹp 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 Đây nó đây à? Đây là cái bước 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 And then the end of and then the end of the alley has a lovely small pavilion, uh, which was a family. Ближе! 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 Женя, сделай ей предложение, все будет хорошо, и возим с собой. Mấy cái tượng nó không có để con chim đưa ra đâu nha, cái lá nó che lại, à, nó nó không có như tụi tây, And if you are a common teacher or working for the government, it could be even less. Oh, oh. So three, some, so three four hundred. Yeah, so sometimes you can go to like $200, uh, $300. A month. A month. So you can even understand that even $60 for, for a rental, for a flat, mm -hmm. it's too much. Too much. And, and then you said to buy that, you said cost about how much again? Uh, well, let's say starting from 2,000 euros. 2,000 euros for a meter. lot? No, no, no. Um, I talk about the, the, the unit. One uh, lot. What do you call Lot? Meter. No, no. no, no. They count by meter, by... No, yeah. I don't by meter. Meter anymore. We don't have feet. We, we count by meters. But uh, for, for average... Uh, well, let's say it's uh, approximately the, the minimum. Yeah. The smallest flat will be, which you'll be able to get, it's like, let's say, 35, 35 meters, meters oh, which, which, which makes it like 70, 70 80. Thousand euros. Oh, okay. So that's too much. About hundred thousand, hundred thousand yeah. dollar. Yeah, so it's a hundred thousand. Or if you are looking for something bigger, uh, uh, 
it's going to be 2,000, oh. 200, 300, oh, okay. and much more. So. Okay. I don't see much uh, separate um, house. Well, because we're not allowed, because in the city they're not allowed to have houses. So to have houses, it's flats, it's residential area. Yeah. And if there are, well, we, we, when we drove via uh -huh. to Peter Half, uh -huh. you saw little houses. So yeah. those are cottages in, or whatever. In, so, in the suburb? Yes, suburb yes, yeah, yes, yeah, yeah, yes, okay. Yes, yes. Oh, but in city it's more expensive than the summer, for sure. Well, yeah. just depending on the district, because yeah. even here the property would be expensive. Uh, because it's, it has uh, night communication, 20 minutes and yeah. you are in the city. Uh -huh. And uh, so the price of the house and of the land would be probably the same. Oh, okay. You, you told me we're going to recently they increase a lot in value? Yes. Why? Inflation or greedy of the market. Because, for example, when we got a flat yeah. for me, so we bought it, well, we call it zero cycle when there is there is just a project of yeah. the house yeah. and you can get well, kind of a discount. So my flat, which was uh, one bedroom and it was like something like 50 square meters, it costed us like, let's say, 25, 25 thousand, thousand uh, euro. You, no, dollars. Oh, yeah. So dollars at that time. Yeah. And so we were quite happy because at this period of time, even in two years, yeah. the value, it valued uh, the price doubled. Oh, so, double. Yeah, in, in you in, what two years ago now double? Yeah, in two years, but it was not the the, the building itself. It was not finished, but the price already for my flat. Oh, it'll be a new me. new construction. Yeah, no, no, no. So I've bought a flat. We've paid for it. And uh, in two years, the building was not finished yet. Oh, and you, 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 new customers, new people, they liked the house, and they said, "We are going to give you two times high, well, two times more price for your flat, because the, the price has just increased two times in two years." Uh -huh. And for the last uh, decade, well, not decade, but for several months, the price has increased for, let's say, fifty hundred euros just for two months in this summer. Oh, last, last two months? In two months. And there is no reason why, they, there is no explanation why they've, they've increased. Yeah. It's just uh, the monopoly of the companies because they are trying to produce a law due to which um, they're going to be only about 25 companies. Or so, well, a very minimum, uh, very minimum um, number of the companies, let's say 20, 30, 40, mm. 50, which would have a license for civil construction. Mm. And so starting after that, it's all started. So the prices started to increase and everything. Yeah. So when did the property start to increase? About a couple of months ago or two no, years ago? No, no, no. Well, I mean, it's always because. Always. Yeah, it's it's always they are always increasing. Last let's see, last ten years the property always increased, not the, the decrease. Yeah, well, it's hard to say because ten years ago it was uh, 1996, uh, uh -huh. and uh, so the prices were about let's say 60, well 600, 800 for a square meter. Uh -huh. At that period of time, then we had a default. That oh, yeah, default. Default, oh, which means that the oh, ruble oh, dropped oh. immediately. So, uh, so we had that uh, well default mm -hmm. because, uh, yeah. for example, there was a cost of the dollar. The exchange rate of the mm. dollar was six rubles. Uh -huh. So one dollar six rubles, and in a week it was one dollar. 30 rubles oh. and so the prices they've dropped but well, I mean but so the, the, with the flat so yeah. it was well, something like 60 uh -huh. uh, 600 800 uh, dollars for a square meter mm -hmm. and then it started going up and then we had that default and so which brought the prices for the same level of 400 500 mm -hmm. uh, dollars yeah. for a square meter oh. and then when people got Okay, about the situation. So they started to go up again. again. Oh, because the, the price drop, because the 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 the, the, uh, the rubble go down. Yeah, yeah. yeah. But but you know, if you can feel with the uh, with the kind of uh, consider like do dollar amount to be probably not no, not the not. They they raise the dollar amount. You, uh. you are not paying in rubles. You are paying in dollars. Uh -huh. 
So you're paying in dollars or in euros. Uh -huh. And even in the contract, they say if the currency, if this is that currency, is going to be higher mm -hmm. uh, than that currency. Mm -hmm. For example, if the rate of ruble is going to be the most uh -huh. uh, stable, so uh -huh. you're going to pay in rubles. Uh, okay. If not, then you're going to pay in dollars. If oh. in euros, if mm -hmm. euro is going to be more expensive, you pay in euros. Yeah. And and then, then you, you you buy here you buy you, lo you make a loan or you you buy a flat you buy a, an apartment yeah but but you make a loan for a bank or you pay all off oh, you have to pay it in one sum one lump sum yeah no not the no bank. no, no? Uh, they've started just that uh, process of um, loaning or just giving a rent. Giving giving loans for civilists for just for buying flats. They just started it, but percentage is enormous. You mm. pay something like two times more at the end. They give you that percent. Well, loan for let's say 30 years, uh, and then uh, it yeah. will happen so that yeah. you'll pay double price. Uh, oh, so the the the, the lot. The lot you move, you, you bought the, that the new one or the already built? No, mine oh, is what? the new one. New one? New one. Oh, not, new did one. you bought a land and and the uh, construction not finished yet? No, I bought an apartment and it's um, it's so funny because the house is a private house. I mean, it's like condominium. Oh, condominium, yeah. It's, it's like condominium. Uh. And, but in your old papers it's written that you own so this is your own apartment, you own it, mm. but it stands on the land which belongs to the government, which is, I mean, which oh, is... Oh, the land belongs to the government? Yes, it's, it's ridiculous. Oh, you don't own the land? The land. No. No land. Oh, yet no, the building. Sure. Well, I'm not sure what, the, what they did with the land because um, we were... We were collecting signatures for buying a land or for under the house or something like that. So, so preparing papers uh -huh. for the land. But now, uh, but now is the government own it, own the land. Yeah. Well, every... the land is owned by the government. Oh, okay, and uh, okay, so you own, you just own the the building. Can the foreigner buy it? Yeah. Anybody? Wow, wow, wow! I'm not. Quite sure about the because, foreigners. Uh, about foreigners, because there was a short period of time, really, really short, when they've opened the market for foreigners, mm -hmm. and then, so that's why many buildings in the center they belong to foreigners, uh -huh. or some flats belong to foreigners. But nowadays, I'm not sure. I think they've closed it. I think they they are not allowing uh, allowing allowing. <laughs> Uh, foreigners. foreigners to buy property. I'm not sure of that. Uh -huh. But but did you you you. Okay, I encourage this one. Mm -hmm. But it's changeable. So they often get a heat wave where temperature goes up to 36 Celsius. Make anyone happy, <laughs> right? And it's in the middle of that. And. Uh, this is typically Dutch of the period. That's what Za Peter loved. And uh, um, a very um, popular style of decoration was the usage of oak paneling. So the wood on the walls is oak panels. And uh, Mont Desert has got good water and period. <laughs> this park has got a couple of fountains where water comes out unexpectedly. Uh, that's something what Peter saw in Europe. And he wanted to have it in his park. Now, a most common explanation is it's a matter of luck. You step on the wrong valve, oh. and what comes up? Yeah, of this. Huh? Oh, for you? Of the video, yes. Oh, uh, I buy, I, I sell a uh, channel of pee. <laughs> <laughs> You won't get to the thing before put it yourself in it. Yeah. It's a long walk. Oh, Peter House. They have a uh, beer. Peter, Peter, uh, Peter uh, the, the reef.
Сюда! Да молочная одна. Да и что? Давай. 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 by the birth status. So in fighting the Swedes, uh, he fought. Uh,
Девушки вас пригласят в кафе, вы утомленные солнцем. Давайте к нам рассмотрите. И еще раз их не And uh, anywhere, <laughs> anywhere, so, uh, very small. The palace, you look all the way down to the ocean. I wonder why they don't bring us in. Oh, because the long line, no time. So, but then you should come earlier. Yeah. Two days or two, all right? So, well, within the last two, two hundred years. Two hundred, three hundred years. Uh -huh. Oh, they come in. Oh, you have to have tickets, man. Oh, they got. Yeah. Oh. We have to buy tickets to get in. Oh, man. Get tickets, yeah. Huge garden, eh? Yeah, very nice garden. garden. Yeah. Oh, that's all cool, right. Eh? Yeah. Không, nó nó bán cái cái mà của tụi nhiều cái nó đi với cái tụi ở ngoài á, cái cơ sân ở ngoài á. Nói chuyện nha, nó có một cái mắt đẹp. Napoleon. Uh, oh, I don't have a drama. A Roman style triumphal arch. Two and a half hours drive away from here. And in the Egyptian, actually, pseudo Egyptian style with the obelisk and the Sphinx figures. And looking across the Fontanka, you can see uh, the domes of the cathedral of the Holy Trinity River. So the design name is V Fontanka mean fountain. And no one knows f uh, for sure the date when that melody and that limerick uh, emerged or got produced, but we have a popular melody that has a very, very good reputation, uh, one of the best after uh, the big company of Mariinsky Theatre, or Mosorsky Theatre. Uh, it's uh, a private That's right, I'm 
weird. But if you do go down Nevsky, uh, please be careful with your belongings, not to lose them. So we are here now, it's not early, which means that we won't get trampled in the crush going in and we can find our seats and... Did you hear play? What? What are you playing? Oh, maracas. Spanish maracas is what they yeah. are. I don't understand you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Oh, they're too big for that. Who's too big for that? Oh, it's going to buy one? Who's that? Who's that? Yes. Matryoshka with Russian vodka. Oh, that's too high. Oh. That's a good idea. But I don't have a bottle, but you like it. Buy something? No, I'm not buying anything. There's no place in the bag now. Huh? No, no place in the bag. <laughs> you got a place in your bag? Come on, Dan. Let me Right now, right now. Oh, 8 o'clock. Oh, 8 o'clock? Still early, huh?
है ये
không biết lấy cái gì trong đó 